unique, tough, and entertaining. You know, every horse comes in and you're trying to do your best and bring him along. And uh, I think uh, he was a horse very much that uh, he just improved dramatically from two to three. And then after his uh, win at Beverly, he suddenly proved that he could operate at a pretty top level. He's the kind of guy who goes out there, trains, does his job, comes home. He's, he's business-like, but he's playful with it. He's never shirked a fight. He's been in some very tough races over some very long distances. But you know, he's got, he proved down here in the Jockey Club Stakes after we had all come out of lockdown. He, he raced there with Gayeth and Top Horses, and they went and broke the, broke the mile and a half track record, and he was right there in the first three with them. So he, he's got plenty of speed about him as well as stamina. It's particularly rare for a flat horse to uh, have the longevity that he's had and perform at the top level as consistently he has for a long time, which is obviously is a massive testament to his own breed of Bjorn Nielsen for breeding a horse of that calibre and that quality, and also obviously for being sporting after he's been training. And then the team at home as well, you know, they've done an exceptional job with him over the years. They know him inside out. Um, they're obviously all highly experienced people, but to have a horse and maintain him at that level for this long is, is a real credit to them. With a full horse, you know, their minds sometimes drift off to, uh, to other things, as you might expect. But he's maintained his enthusiasm, and you know, as we see in the mornings in his training, he comes out, comes out the stable, always has a play in the mornings, has a shout, likes to let you know he's there, and he loves his work. And he must have been up this hill, oh, in the thousands of times by now. Um, and every time he comes up with the same zest and the same enthusiasm. We see it in the jump world often, where you have these horses that progress through their careers, and and are in training for years and performing at the top level. Um, and they become real icons of the sport. And I think he's, he's kind of reached that status now where he's, he's been running well and performing at the top level in, uh, you know, in the best day races in the world for, for years now. And uh, it's just wonderful to have a horse that you can see the attachment that people have to him when he goes racing. You know, there's always people there taking photos of him and, and coming out specifically to see him. And he's a, he's a huge draw, I think, when, he's, when he goes to the track for Trouser Race Course. And, and so he should be, you know, he's a, he's a wonderful horse and we've all been very lucky to to be around him for this one. And he quickens right away from Nayef Road. Six lengths, eight lengths, he's gonna be 10 lengths. He's gonna absolutely street them. The best stayer in the world, Stradivarius, three gold cups. His style of running, he comes and attacks them at the end. So often it's gone smoothly, other times it hasn't, but that's called luck in running. But we've had a, a, a great time with him and uh, he still enjoys his training very much. So we're looking forward to Goodwood. You know, he's won it four times he's, he's raced in the race. Last year he couldn't go. It, he was there at the track in the stables when unfortunately had torrential rain and water was lying on the track and they started the Goodwood Summer Festival on heavy ground, which isn't his scene. He's always uh, liked uh, good ground. Uh, good, good to soft, good to firm, but not heavy. So to that extent, we, we're hopeful the ground will be all right and we can turn up on the day and put in a, a great performance.